Hello everybody and welcome back to the final third podcast today, different place. Uh, today we're going to do our weekly podcast. Uh, this week it is midweek football, which I'm looking forward to it. There'll be a live stream going up tonight. Aston Villa, or should we say Man City versus Aston Villa at the Etihad. Um, we'll go through my score predictions and who I think will be, be good scoreline this week and who will be a shock, who I think will be shocks. Um, but first we'll start off with uh, Arsenal versus Luton. Actually no, we'll start with yesterday with West Ham drawing to Tottenham Hotspur. Tottenham, West Ham played the better, better team, was West Ham. Tottenham obviously scored in the first five minutes. Um, and I think if Tottenham would have played a little bit better, I'd, I'd have said they'd have been the better side. Because I think what let them down was the consistency of getting the ball forward. They didn't do that a lot. Um, West Ham controlled the ball more. As soon as they got their goal, they controlled the game loads more. And I think with West Ham, they're such an attacking side. They like to go on attack and score goals. Um, and then Newcastle drew to yeah, they drew to Everton, which. Good. That's a very good point for Everton, but for Newcastle, that's a bad result. Obviously, for Newcastle, drawing against Everton is a bad result. Uh, I think Newcastle do really need to pick it up, and I do think Everton are probably safe. I just can't see them um, going going down uh, anymore. This the they just that team that stay up because they're lucky. They're really lucky. Um, and I think if Everton do go down, which I'll be happy about, but I can't see them going down because you've got Sheffield United and Burnley, which are who who are going to go down, and then you've got um, Luton who could possibly stay up, but I can't see it. And if Luton were to stay up, I think it would be uh, not Nottingham Forest that will go down. But tonight we've got Luton, Arsenal versus Luton. And Man City versus Aston Villa, two of the sides um, top 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 two, um, top top three going up against each other, and I think it'll be a very good very good game. Both I think Man City game will be better. Um, I think Man City could possibly get beat tonight, but I I'm not expecting uh, a shock from Villa. Um, I think. The most likely it'll be like a draw if it were to like be an upset at the Etihad, um, a draw which still good for Liverpool and Arsenal. No, but I think it'll be two, two or three nil tonight to Man City. Um, and then uh, Arsenal, Arsenal, Luton, home. I can see Arsenal wiping the floor with them. I can't see. Um, Luton getting any points out of this? Um, Arsenal are in top gear, so I can't I can't really see them getting beat. Um, and then tomorrow is Liverpool versus um, Sheffield United at Anfield. Toughest place to go so far in the league. Obviously Etihad and Anfield and the Emirates, should we say? Um, I'm confident. I I am rec- I hoping for five or go more five goals maybe more against these lot these lot can't defend for their lives they're absolutely crap and I think if there's one team to get loads of goals it's them it's Liverpool or it's Manchester City or it's Arsenal um, but no I don't think I don't think um, Sheffield United will stand a chance against uh, Liverpool. And then there's another big... And obviously, if Liverpool do win, they can increase their margin at the top if Arsenal or Manchester City do get beat tonight or do draw. Um, and then you've got Chelsea versus Manchester United. Two teams that are pretty much stuck in the mud every single week. They play well one week and then they play crap another week. I'm expecting a Man United win, but when you're against Chelsea, I 
don't know what to expect. I think Chelsea at home against a big club are good, but Chelsea really uh, are pretty much really bad um, when it comes... Even like Burnley at weekend, what happened? They they got 10 men, did Burnley, and they were 2-0 two, two nil up, 2-1 up, with about 20 minutes to go, and they conceded. I mean, not like I'm bothered, but um, yeah, I am glad that uh, Chelsea did get beat, and didn't get beat, they drew. Um, but yeah, I think, I've just honestly, I can't see Chelsea getting into the top. I can't see them getting into the top half, you know, this season. I think they'll drop too many points. They've still got... Have they still got Liverpool to play? No, I don't think they do. Uh, or they might do. I know they've got Arsenal and they've got Man City. Um, so, I mean... But no, I don't think they could. I don't think they'll stay in the top half of the league. Um, but yeah, I, and I am still sticking with my prediction for the Prem. Uh, Liverpool are going to win the league. It says it's theirs to lose. Honestly, it's there to lose. Sheffield United and then the big one on Sunday. Manchester United away, which I am dreading because if Man United do end up winning, I I just can't see us winning the title. If we get beat, I can't see us winning the title. If we draw, maybe there's a slight chance, but we do need Man City or Arsenal to slip up. Obviously, going down the table, we've got Sheffield United, Burnley and Luton at the bottom. I can see Sheffield United going down. I could see Burnley going down. And I don't know about... Um, <clears throat> I don't know about uh, Luton. Luton could go down and Luton can't go down. But they've proved themselves... In different weeks, um, obviously, them getting shock results. Newcastle, 4-4. Four, four. Um, <clears throat> Liverpool, 1-1. One, one. Ah, they nearly beat, nearly drew, draw or beat Arsenal. It was 4-3 to Arsenal, but they were like 3-2 up. Um, so, yeah, Forest as well. They're doing quite well at the moment. They obviously got a win yesterday. 3-1 to Fulham, which is very good for them. Very good result. Um, so, they're hoping to stay up. Thank you for watching. This is the second or third episode of the podcast. Series 2, episode 2 or 3. I think it's 3. But thank you very much for watching. Um, please do like, subscribe, do share the videos. Um, we're near, Well, we're not nearly there, but we are going to hit 600. Well, I'm hoping to hit 600 subscribers. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.